Pragmatic Addict. The unbearable weight of massive fucking talent. So the unbearable weight of massive talent is probably one of the most unique films maybe I've ever seen. So this film stars Nicolas Cage playing himself. And uh, this film centers on Nick Cage in a very kind of uh, dramatic point in his life. You see a point of Nick Cage at a time where he is kind of like known as a legend in cinema, but he also touches on an era in his life where he's kind of made movie after movie after movie and maybe not the best light. And we see the film starting off as him trying to get the role, get this role that is, you know, kind of known as his that he kind of sees as his comeback role. And soon after, uh, we see Nick Cage accept a $1 million uh, amount of money to attend uh, a birthday party. And this person that he attends the birthday party of, named Javi, played by uh, Pedro Ca Pascal, uh, he is a huge Nick Cage fan. And as Nick Cage is there, they end up kind of becoming buddies throughout the film uh, where it centers on his uh, Nick Cage and Pedro Pascal are actually working together to possibly make uh, Nick Cage's next movie. And, <laughs> and in the midst of this, a couple of CIA agents played by Tiffany Haddish and Ike Barinholtz uh, kind of hit up Nick Cage and they're like, hey, this dude that you're kind of like buddies with, he's like a cartel member leading this organization who have kidnapped the president's daughter. <laughs> so Nick Cage basically goes undercover working for the CIA, uh, trying to take down Javi, while him and Javi are also in the process of making this next movie and getting into all of these shenanigans. And what's really fun about this movie is that throughout the whole film, uh, Nick Cage is in this actor persona, right? So. He sees this dangerous mission as an action movie, and he, and you know, during these events where he kind of, you know, uh, loses his grip or kind of, you know, collapses, you know, he has this imaginary kind of friend-like persona, which is another version of himself, but which is like an actor version that is also kind of like his conscience in a way, but is also kind of like the demon on the shoulder kind of thing, and we actually see a lot of. In interaction with him and this other version of himself which was really different and really quickly I'm just gonna say that Nick Cage was perfect for this movie like not only because he is such a legend meme wise and he's he's just got such an insane fucking career just as a Nick Cage the movie movie this is it and not only a Nick Cage movie but for a movie centered on an actor playing himself in a really just batshit crazy fashion. This was perfect. This was fantastic. Nick Cage was absolutely charismatic the whole time. Him and Pedro Pascal's chemistry was just delightful the whole time. Another thing I really was absolutely pleasantly surprised about is that this was a really heartfelt film. This film brought me to fucking tears. Can you believe it? This film... Nick Cage. Brought me to fucking tears. And one thing also that I want to mention about the film is that the depth and the layer that it goes into Nick Cage was fantastic. Again, we see how the movie starts with him, uh, you know, being known as this legend, but he's also kind of a struggling actor. He's talking about possibly retiring just because he's made movie after movie after movie that just hasn't been quite the hit. And he's trying to, you know, find this role, land this role that is just the one that's going to bring him back. And on top of that, because he is an actor, uh, he has problems, you know, kind of putting that aside from his real life and, you know, the way that his family sees him and the way that he reacts to things as an actor and as this center of, of you know, attention, kind of. Uh, you re we really see a lot of dramatic, mature layers that I really was not expecting to get and a lot of different emotions that surprisingly really fucking hit and uh, one thing i do want to mention is that the trailer does reveal a lot of things that i wish hadn't been revealed because not only were they great moments but it actually i i noticed a couple instances where maybe some footage was actually cut from the movie and uh the build-up of these humorous events that we see in the trailer 
they really do have a good impact and a good uh, payoff. There's a lot of good leeway and there's a lot of good setup throughout the entire film. And honestly, as a movie going experience as well, this is not only my favorite movie of the year so far, but the theater that I was in, the audience was just absolutely ecstatic about this film. It was the best film I've seen this year and the best theater experience as far as audience go this year. And honestly, after this film with how much fun it was and how much you know, positivity it brought. I just have so much fucking respect for Nick Cage. <laughs> Overall, guys, I'm gonna give The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent a positive score of at least a 6.3 out of 10. So yes, guys, Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, I enjoyed this film. Uh, it is my favorite film I've seen this year. I absolutely recommend it, and I cannot wait to see this film again. So guys, that is gonna do it for this review. Um. I will be seeing Hatching tomorrow because it did get a limited theatrical release, which is playing in my town, thankfully. Uh, really excited about that one, as well as The Bad Guys. And that will probably wrap up my April films as far as reviews uh, go. So yes, guys, let me know what you thought of the video as well as The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent for those who have seen it. Absolutely recommend it. It is one of those movies when you see the trailer, it's like, maybe not my thing. Trust me. Trust me. If you have any sort of respect for Nick Cage and want to see comedy done well, you're, you're, you're going to be fine. So yes, guys, that's going to do it for my review. Let me know what you thought down below, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.